All right, what is going on, everyone? And welcome back to more Black Desert. So today was patch day, the 20th of September, and we got a new season. It's called the Evergreen season. So basically at the bottom, uh, it's like the number of seasonal tickets you have, and each time you have one of them, you can basically start a new season and graduate it whenever. So I'm actually interested in seeing how the new season is going to play out and one thing I wanted to do was I created a shy this season because I've never actually played one. I know they're really good in, you know, PvE, support PvP as well. And we also have a tag event right now going on. So I wanted to mostly just create a shy and get it skilled away. So in case everyone, anyone needs like a support shy for whatever, uh, I just have one to say I have one. I'm not re-rolling or anything, but anyway, we're going to go through seasons. I'm going to show you guys how I go about doing it as well, just in case you are new to the game and you're wondering, how do I start the season? Just play the game, but ultimately, um, proceed with the tutorial. No, we're not going to do that. This is something I made a video of as well a while ago, and it was like, which of the three areas should you start? Um... Ultimately, it does tell you, like, recommended for, like, newer players or veterans. I would always recommend starting at Ancient Stone Chamber, whether you're a beginner or this is, like, your 15th season character. And the reasoning why is because your goal is to ultimately level up, right? And then getting to, like, 60, getting all your skill points and everything. So I would always recommend Ancient Stone Chamber. It's just the fastest route to get to various levels. And, um... Yeah, Land of the Morning Light is more if you just want to do this 300-something questline story, which I never really want to do again, to be honest. Uh, I did Mountain of Eternal Winter, but either way, that was just something I'd recommend to all of you, starting out fresh in Ancient Stone Chamber. We're going to skip through this story, but um, so if you guys want to see it yourself, just play through it. All right, so first of all, I usually play with the game audio off when I'm playing normally. Um, I will have an advantage over newer players just because I will be using stuff to speed things up. But for the most part, I'll tell you where to grind. It just might take a little bit longer for all of you guys as well. But anyway, here's what I would recommend doing. Um, now that we have family-wide potions. It's cool. Next, what else do we do? I think you can actually use... I, I, Shy plays differently from other classes. I know that for sure. But it was like, Shy's can use Dream Horses, right? And it's not just donkeys. Because I know it's different, but we'll see. Okay, anyway. Talk to the black spirit. I'll see what I could do to grind to like 50 and then maybe 56. This is kind of... Oh, wait. We can't even use... Requirement. Complete the quest. Shy talent. The musician. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. The game knows. It's just like, nope, you're not allowed to use your pencil on day one. <laughs> um, I actually made that as a kind of a meme to be honest because i did want it but at the same time i also wanted to build fail stacks so i think that's probably around level 50 or so when you get it and um either that or like 56 is when you can start that quest line i'm not 100 sure it's, if it if anything, it makes sense. First and foremost, let's look at the season pass. Every time there's a new season, we look at it and I'll tell you if the rewards are worth it. All right, so the things that matter. Let me just hide my camera for a real quick second. All right, so at the bottom to end your season, we get this, which is basically Cronstones, 500 contribution XP zero, and Tubala, Coupons, level 60. Um, 
Did they change the seals? That is the most important thing. So what is the most important thing to get from your seals? I'm pretty sure the things from the one exchange per family. And I'm not sure with how this is going to work because of the endless season now. And, like, do these coins are, like, do they stack for other characters? Or is it just, like, per season? Um, but either way, we'll figure that out when we actually get there. I do unironically want to learn how to play Shy. I assume it's a lot easier than all the other characters because ultimately for Shy's there's not as many buttons and the awakening is different. Once we get to Velia, it'll probably be around level 15-ish, and that's when we'll start going to different spots and figuring all this out. It teleports you out now. That's nice. Quality of life change. I remember you had to walk out last like 16 times. Dang, you know it's bad when you just like you've done this so many times. It's just <laughs> you notice the small things. Heck yeah, boys. 19 AP. Let's do this. This. And pass. All right, so what abilities do we have? Um, Left R and B, up F. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Tucks and tuck and roll. What are my damage abilities? R and B. Hops and spins with the flooring. Okay. Most effective when using weight damage. Okay, so that's your buff. LMB, RMB, down LMB. F, left, right, R LMB. <laughs> I 
LMB. RMB. Left LMB. Left, right RMB. That doesn't do anything. F. Oh, so you gotta go up and you kick the wolf. N noted. I feel like I'm playing a different game now. One, two, three. It's RMB. Okay, so basically, I throw my boomerang quick to down RMB. Well, Shy seems like an easy class to play. That's good. I literally am just holding RMB every now and then throwing a LMB. The reason why I really want to play a shy is because I want to do Olin's and like I could do it on DK, but like I feel like if I want to play efficiently, shies are probably a little bit better. Also, I have a pen soul, unlike some other people like I've seen in the thing where they don't have like I feel like having a pen soul if you want to grind Olin's is just like minimum requirement. So let's see. I think, what's a mythical sensor? Oh wait, is this sensor the thing for a tier 10? Oh, so you can get one and get a free tier 10 attempt. That's good. Combat, skill XP exchange. That's pretty important. Floramos accessory. I'm not sure what that is. Weapon exchange is good. Pet and maids are good. Okay, so mythical sensor if you're an end game player for tier 10. Weapon and skill exchange coupons for, like, anyone that's thinking about re-rolling. Weapon exchange coupons for everyone else. Uh, Floramos accessory. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, so you could get the 150 stack from the season. For getting level 10. Jesus, dude. Like, beginners starting with 150 stacks. Oof. Free. Good luck, everyone, to get your free tet black stars. I suppose I should probably use this as well. Uh, put on some parties. out of here wait can you not wait uh oh I don't hold on you can't tag a seasonal oh, I forgot
Wait, can you tag a seasonal? I'll have to try that later. I I have my Wusa tagged for reasons. <laughs> Did you guys hear that Wusa is getting nerfed? I think it's uh it's about time. I'm not even upset about it. What's funny was when I tagged my Wusa for the first time, like I didn't even know how to play it really. I knew how to do basic combos. But I went to like the first thing I went to grind was Ash Forest and I got more loot than my main. Not really knowing how to play either. It's such a wild experience. Oh my god, dude. XP is, like, actually stacked here. Well, I mean, I have, like... <laughs> Don't think these extra ones work. Gotta go to level 15 to do this. Wait, is Shy really just directional LMB and RMB? Is that basically how you play Shy? Because that's free. What are we going to do at level 15? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, I gotta figure out what this uh, floor and leaf actually does. Gain combat XP 300% wall. While in gathering. Okay. Gain alchemy. Combat XP when... Alright. So basically you cook chicken meat to level 61. Noted. <laughs> Tires are built different. Shift. Various combinations of RMB. I forgot, I forgot something. Oh, I forgot more things not be used. <laughs> oh boy. Basically, if if you don't use these buffs, it's not like a big deal. You just takes like what five minutes longer.
I'm supposed to do something with this, right? Um, was it cooking or I think it's simple heating? Woo! Bell XP. Like how it doesn't even give us any armor. It just gives us nothing. Is it like that? Dead soldier. Oh boy. Imagine getting clapped by a shy pop pop. <laughs> Easy. I'm convinced they nerfed that. If you watch my other seasonal videos, that was not easy before. Like, I think they actually toned that one down. Find Momo, the Velia Vigilante. Cool. So someone bought that tier 9. Was that tier 10 outfit? I think that's a tier 10. Get this garbage out of here. All right. No skip. Skip. Thanks, game. Seen Belia literally thousands of times. Why no skip option? Careful with this option. It's your first time. I don't... Can you even do this? I think you have to beat the main story at least once to do it. Simplified means you don't have to do up to the Valencia line. Main means you do all of them, but you get credit for... All of that. Alright, so I'm going to teach you where I grind and places where you can get, you guys can level up quickly as well and yeah that'll be pretty cool and then maybe we'll continue our shy adventures if you guys are enjoying it easiest 150 stack of my life level one horse i wanted to sell it but then couldn't because doom horses don't sell oh 
Um, let me see. Am I missing anything in town while I'm here? One of these. We'll cook the 61 later. All right, so this is what I do normally. So from 18 to 20, you can go to Castle Ruins. Sorry, my horse is level one. I thought I was just going to sell it. I never thought I was going to use it. I might honestly, like if this horse gets to like level 20 or something, I might just either sell it to the vendor for like 5 billion. All right, so let's figure out what our skills actually do. A lot of RMBs and LMBs. Shift LMB, RMB, okay. These are the ones that you get for going higher level. I guess yesterday we we have to do this thing um the new quest it's the moon aura this week i don't know what level this one is but i mean i'll i'll take it it'd be nice but yesterday i was practicing some more stuff we got three out of five we did we did odaxini at calamity six for the first time i literally like that fight is not hard it's just i can't see anything when i'm doing it like if you've ever done it, you just see so much garbage on your screen, even with effects at 100. And then it doesn't help that Dark Knight abilities are also purple. And I'm also not seeing anything. And then it's like, sometimes you just die. I don't understand. There's too much on the screen. I gotta figure out how to use these uh, Florin leaves early. Is it the RMB? Does it tell you how to use these? Space to consume can be used with your soul. All right. So getting to like 50 solo, it's pretty easy. And then I think what I'm going to do after is probably just get my or if I could tag my seasonal, I will do that and just probably power level myself at Gyphon on my main. But here's where I go up until like mid 20s. And then from 30 to 40, it's a different spot. So if you have a whistle, obviously it makes things a little bit easier, but if you don't, it's not a big deal. Oh my god. Wait. Oh, we got a...
It already has instant excel and sideways. my boomerang in the air. If you don't have all these buffs, it's not a big deal. It just takes you an extra like five minutes or maybe ten. Doesn't matter. If you're a new player, you shouldn't be rushing through this anyway. So, if you feel like you're, it's too slow, you can leave early, but I'd stay here till like 30. So one tip I would give all of you guys, if, even if you're a new player, try to get the artifacts as soon as possible and start stacking uh, combat XP on it. It just really is helpful. Let's see, do you get a whistle at all? Once we get to 30, I'll start moving. I don't think I've ever heard the whistle sound before until today. want to save up for the uh, 100 mythical sensor and then we'll do a tier 10 tap. Let me just double check real quick. Is my... Okay, so I got my two unicorns. Alright guys, while we're here, let me just upgrade some stuff real quick. What the heck is that?
Oh, that was free. All right, nice. When people tell me that they actually run out of durability on Naru gear, that's just unlucky. I've never had, well, actually, no, I've had that happen exactly one time in like the 12 seasons played. Duo is fine. Something really just come out of their way to attack me. I'm going to try to continue that one because I have a seven stack. Minus 68 AP. Ugh. All right, cool. Are there any nice shy outfits? I'm actually curious. That one's pretty nice. You look like a that one. You look like a bird. It's kind of adorable, actually. That one's cool. I like this outfit on the uh, Megu, actually. Kind of cute. Hmm. Okay, these are the awakening ones. All right, so here's how we do this one. Usually, if my Doom Horse is leveled, I would just uh, hit two buttons and everything just gets deleted. But for the sake of teaching people how to do it without the Doom Horse. Uh-uh. I don't think so. So this is the rotation you do. This is the same as Elvia for all of you who are doing Bloody Monastery at 280+. plus. You could stay here till like 40 if you want to. Otherwise, you just go in the castle. Just like, yeet. <laughs> what did that do?
Shift RMB. It's kind of slow, actually. You could jump down here if you wanted to. the black spirit we are level 35 next one's probably like level 40 if I remember correctly When do I get the cool abilities that I can just like do big buffs and stuff? Shift E. Uh, so basically this spot you could stay up until 40 roughly or you could just leave now honestly whenever whenever it stops feeling like it's going fast for you and then i'll show you where to head next Okay, so yeah, 37 feels like it's slowing down. Like, you could stay here if you feel comfortable. Not a big deal. So what I like to do after this one is go into the Marnie's lab, or Marnie's lab over here. It says 40 to 43. You can go earlier if you want to. The enemies are going to be purple. That means it's going to take a few more hits than normal. Once you get to the level 40-ish area... Um, They'll start like one two shotting things and it'll be fine. Why is my name different color, but then we have family uh, karma now? Always thought that was a little weird. Go enhance some more stuff. happened.
when it comes to actual gear, you should uh, spread it out evenly and not like focus on one piece at a time. But when it comes to Naru, it literally doesn't matter. Failed like three seventies in a row. What in the world? Oh, let's calm down now. Oh darn! I thought I was just gonna one tap it all the way. That would have been nice. Wait, so if this horse is... Instant Excel. Does it have drift though? That's an important one. You know what? No, we're role playing the new player experience more or less without <laughs> with the buffs. We're gonna travel here for the first time. It's actually kind of far away now that I look at the beacon. What in the world? Level two horse, by the way. Pretend it's uh, a tier 5 horse. Fun story. Back when we first started the game, having a tier 5 horse was considered like you were good at the game and you had the fastest horse. Nowadays, it's tier 10. Ooh, a 12. Oh, wait. I think I passed. So here's how you do the Marnie, not Marnie realm, Marnie's lab. You stay here to like low 40s. It's kind of an annoying grind spot just because it's going up and down a ramp is not a circle, but you're only here for like 10 minutes. So it's fine. I'm going to see if I could tag my seasonal later and then just power level it to like 61 on my main because we have to like tag event thingy so i'm gonna see how it's gonna work yeah we're getting about eight percent to kill nuts Stop giving me yellows. I need reds. One whole black stone. Let's go. LMB, RMB. You just throw your boomerang in the air. All right. Okay, so this is a quick slotable. What does it do? Um. Spins around and round using the mysterious power and the florent. Right. Q. 
Oh, pull into targets. Oh, okay, so basically uh, an aggro. Or okay, die. Cool. Nice. Basically, a shy is a tank. Noted. I feel like shy is not the class to play if you're like, this is your first time playing the game. But I don't think it's a bad class at all. Like at end game, shies are very good. As much as we all like to meme on it, guys are very good. So basically, if you didn't have all these buffs, what do you do? You just stay here a little bit longer. Um, keep grinding the same exact rotation. You can go all the way to the end if you wanted to. But ultimately, I just try not to stay here too long because I don't like it. And we'll go to Orc Camp afterwards. Or not Orc Camp. Um, uh, Catfish Camp. And then get to like mid-50s. More black stones. They need to revamp these awards because if they think giving one black stone is considered good in 2023, I'm going to be honest, it's not. So where we go from here is Lake Kaya. Don't particularly have to follow this auto path, but one of those things you can, you can go here all right these rewards are kind of bad actually <laughs> now that i think of it you're spending how much is it thirty dollars to get the second row what are you getting, like... A thousand crons, which... I mean, that itself makes up for it. The outfit. You get an outfit, a thousand crons. Yeah, like, technically it's value, but... Some of these rewards are just not that good. If you're a new player, would it be worth it? I'm not sure, like, you will need Krons eventually. But at the same time... You pro a new player wouldn't need Krons that early on in the game. So I think it's a good reward, it's just... I feel like they could be replaced with something. What is the recommended AP for this area? 49 to 51. Cool. Let me just, uh... I'm gonna enhance some more Naru in a bit. I'm gonna get everything to Tuvala, and then we'll do some Tuvala slams later. One hour, if, assuming I could tag a seasonal. Wonder. Yeah. Hit the pen, dude. It's 42%.
new players in shambles. Bro, just go pen. Bro, just go pen. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> All right. I've actually had comments on my videos of people saying they ran out of beginner blackstones. <clears throat> kind of concerning, actually. Maybe you just got mega unlucky. Full Tuvala Pry. Zero dollar spent. Honestly, getting things to pen to Vala is where the stress kind of begins. Even then, it's not really that bad. Just use the free stacks they give you. Um, Start at like 50 from Tet to pen and you're good. This should be extremely fast, actually. So you gotta get this quest. Gotta eat the rock. Basically what this quest is telling you is like, oh no, you're level 50, you're a big kid now. PvP will be enabled even though it'll be fine. I know I think that just scares more new players more than anything. You could stay here till 51 if you wanted to. It's actually not too bad. After 51, you should probably leave, though. Like, the XP drop-off is kind of huge. Driving this thing, what are you doing? Yeah, things are kind of slow here. Let me just leave. So what you would do at level um, 50 and up is if you wanted to you can grind around here at Soldier's Grave and Mains. 
that place is pretty decent, or you can just go straight up to Polly's if you wanted to. And that should take you all the way to like 56 to 60. Um, okay, so how do I get this? Reach level 56 and do all that. Okay. I am going to split my recording. It's been an hour, and I will see you guys in a minute. See you guys in a bit.